हेलो फ्रेंड्स सतीश तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम मिथिकल हैकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर जयपुर एंड यू गाइज आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्लैश डॉट इन टुडे इन दिस टोटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू कॉन्फ़िगर एसएचएच सर्वर इनसाइड काली लिनक्स मशीन सो दिस इज माय काली लिनक्स मशीन इनसाइड दिस मशीन आई हैव ए बाई डिफॉल्ट यूजर काली एंड पासवर्ड काली आई ऑल्सो हैव ए रूट यूजर विथ यूजर नेम रूट पासवर्ड रेड हेड नाउ आई हैव ओपन द काली लिनक्स मशीन and check the IP address of this machine first so you can see the IP address is 192.168.29.221 this is the IP address of this machine now after checking the IP address you have to check the list apt list open SSH server you have to list the SSH server package okay telling that this package is upgradable so just apt upgrade Open SSH server. So this will upgrade this software. And then we will start the service. So just wait till it updating the updating the package. This command will upgrade your open SSH or you can say SSH server package. Okay. You need to upgrade your previous version using this command. It will take some time depending on your internet connection or whatever your internet connection is. But you don't have to worry. You just type this command and just wait. You can see 30 uh, approx 35 percent has been completed. Okay, approx 60% done. I'm not going to skip anything because I want you to see everything, each and every line, okay? And see if there is any error. Okay, eighty percent done. Okay, about to complete. Okay, and done. Now let's see. Clear this screen and see whether SSH service is running or not. So service SSH start. And then check the status service SSH status. Okay, service is running fine. You can see it's active and running now. You can check your IP address. And we already have a user name Kali. You can see it is a YWD. So we have a user Kali and Satish. All this. So okay, I'm going to log in with this user Kali. Okay, minimize this one. Uh, you need a software third party software put it on your machine okay so if you don't have that software you can download it from google that is a free software ss client software put it, okay just google put it for windows 10 and that's it you can download it from here i have already downloaded it and install it 
how it looks you can see booty and this is the software open this software in the host name or ip address type the ip address of linux machine 192.168.29.221 this is the ip address of my kali linux machine port number 22 good click on open it's asking accept here login as root it's asking for root user so you have to give the uh, your root user or you can see about that uh, no kali user any user you can give so i'm going to change the setting first so that you can see it bigger okay now you can see it's asking login as so i'm giving username kali now it's asking the password for kali user kali is kali and i'm logging to the kali linux machine using kali user so you can see i i can run ls command i can go to the desktop so everything working so right now i am logging to the kali linux machine remotely through ss server if you go to kali linux machine and you run who command it will tell you that okay someone from this ip 227 ip log into your machine with kali users okay and they can, it will also mention the date and time of the user I hope you understand how to remotely log in to your Kali Linux machine through SSH. So first of all, you have to configure SSH server on your system and then you can remotely log into your machine using Putty software. If you are using another Linux machine, you can directly log in. But if you have a Windows machine, you can use Putty software. Now let me run the history command. So these are the list of command which you need to run the ssh the command is starting from here line number 117 okay so up to 117 to 224 we have completed our ssh server configuration first of all i have list using line number 117 then i have upgraded the open ssh server package using line number 118 and then i have started the service using line number 120 then the status of ss machine using line number 121 then check the ip address finally and then check the username using line number 123 and after login you can check through line number 124 who is logging your, to your system you can check the ip address of remote machine the remote client machine who has logged into your system okay thank you thank you for watching this video i hope you understand but if still you have any doubt you can ask me through the comment section